Hi all, Cynthia here back with another layout for the Wild Hair Kits. This one I'm using my January kit and I've taken this gorgeous paper from the, the Vicky Booten collection and going to use it to back the cut file for the month. So this month's cut file says fresh start because it is January and it's the fresh start of the year. But that is not how I use it. You will see um, somewhere along the line that I mix it up and I use this cut file in a different way. But first off, I went through and I decided on whether I wanted to back it on... Um, the blue green tones or whether I wanted to back it on the ready orange tones of the paper I decided to go with the blue green basically because to me green and blue is sort of like fresh colors hmm, that makes sense doesn't it so now I've got the cut file and as I said I've decided I want to use a white background and I'm now trying to figure out how to make the start stand out what I want to do whether I want to try to back it somehow I'm contemplating about trying to paint it somehow um, and then I'm also trying to figure out how I'm going to get it to sit around this photo uh, yeah around the photo so the photo is of our son just recently we went out for lunch and that was just a, a candid shot I took of him across the paint across the table and I'm going to back that using the same paper but this time I decided I would use the red and pinks and orange tones so you see I've jumped a little bit here and that is because as you can also probably notice my film started to flicker. I was filming this in the middle of the day and uh, yeah, no, my computer just doesn't like the flickering. Uh, my um, camera does not like too much light, natural light, natural sunlight. It just struggles with it. Um, and I should have really known to shut the curtains and turn the lights on and film under lights but I just do struggle with the concept of shutting the curtains in the middle of the day when it's a lovely day. So there you saw I decided to cut the start off of the cut file so now my title there just says fresh and I've gone into my thickers and put out these thickers here and my title is going to be a breath of fresh air and that's what my journaling is going to be around as well. Didn't quite have all the letters I needed in these um, thickers, but I decided that's what I wanted to use. I just liked the way they went with the page and the feel they was giving to the page. So I've just trimmed up a few different ones and added a few bits and pieces here and there and made the letters that I need. So now I'm just going to toss it around on the page to see how I can make that sit and I decide that I will definitely bring it um, all on the vertical down the side there. You could see on the fresh before I put that leaf across there was a little bit of the S and the T showing so I wanted to cover that up and I knew it was probably where I was going to put air so I thought I'd put that leaf there but I mixed that, um, mixed that up in a moment and I put something else down instead. Um, same concept, but um, just um, one of the different pieces of ephemera. Going to glue this down. Um, I cut all that out because, as you could see, it was flickering again. And there you go. I decided to put that um, black and white floral there. I just think that sits quite nicely. Love that little off strip that I have with the colours on it. I decided that I'll put that along the top of the page as well. And then I pulled out a, a stack of the, um, pretty much nearly all of the uh, vellum, vellum pieces um, or acetate pieces, whatever you like to call them, from the Heidi Swap ephemera pack that come in my kit. And I'm going through to see what I can use. But these little cactuses and flower pots are actually from my stash. Um, I thought I might use one of those as well, but I'm, I don't. 
try different couple of different options. I really love them, but I just haven't been able to um, use too many of them. But I will use them, I'm sure. Um, I fill around with these for a little while. I just can't seem to quite make that side work for me. I'm not too sure exactly what I'm going to do. And um, that's where I decided to swap them out and put these two tags in here. And I quite like the way that works. And I'm going to use that black and white striped tag to do my journaling. I ended up printing my journaling out in, and I cut it up into small strips and glue it on the white part. So... Um, it still has that black and white stripe pieces. So what are we doing here? Um, just gone through. I did use my um, Xerox label maker to back all the vellum pieces with to glue them down. Um, so you couldn't see the glue in the background. And I'm going to glue that down the top and I decide to flip it around um, I can't remember how I had the first time but to have the green and blue on the left hand side um, to counter counter or to be opposite to the the green fresh just felt like the bottom of the layer was missing a little bit um, it was just sort of mm, wasn't finished quite right so I went into my stash and I pulled out these washi tapes I'm pretty sure this middle washi tape that I just put down there is from a Heidi Swap collection as well. Um, I'm not too sure about the stripe. The stripe could have, yes, the stripe comes from the same um, um, tube. So it's one of those tubes where you get five or six different um, rolls in a tube together. And I'm pretty sure that was all a Heidi Swap line and what are we doing i'm really liking the way this comes together hmm, what else am i still trying to think about this uh, little cactus piece but i'm pretty sure it doesn't make it in the end um i'm pretty sure i take that off so i've gone into my stash here and i'm going to bring out some little thickers uh, or little stickers i should say to make the word of i just go through and i try a couple of different versions the kit that we received for January is a petite kit, so you get a smaller amount of product. Obviously, the cost point is smaller too, but it allows you to bring some stuff in from your stash to help use up some of your stash as well. So um, that's the advantage of the Wild Hair Kits. You can sort of opt to choose what size you want and when you want it, and also... Um, you know, you, you fill out your style profile, so hopefully you get the product that you say you like. Um, so you never get one of those kits where you get product that, you know, is just not your style. Putting that down. So this layout is also for the blog as well. So if you hop on over to the Wild Hair Kits blog, you should be able to read about it as well. Um, I'll make sure I leave all the details in the link below, in the description box below. And you'll also be able to pop over there and see what all the other gorgeous layouts the other ladies have made. Um, there's generally something going up every day. There might be, you know, a day or two here and there that a post is not going up, but there's a lot of action, hop, action happening over there, as well as, you know, lots of action happening on the Facebook group as well and um, Instagram. So keep your eye out for um, the wild hair kits. Make sure you follow the hashtag so you can, as I said, keep up with all the latest gorgeous layouts. What are we doing? And I think that's pretty much it. I'll put my light journaling down and I'm done. There's some close up photos at the end. And that is it. So as always, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not already, love it if you would subscribe, um, leave me a comment, love reading all your comments, and I will catch you on the next video. And until then, everyone have a lovely day, a lovely week, or a lovely month. Catch you on the next one. Bye.